Hey, uh, this is uh, DS Yaxheimer, and this is another uh, edition of the Spectre. And I, uh, I didn't want to do this, but I am going to talk about the shootings in El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio, um, and of basically what's been, um, how it's been covered, um, which is the usual way they they cover these these shootings. Um, we've had a spike in. Uh, mass shootings recently um, there's the, it's one of those things that really isn't like an uh, answer you know that they're, they're just sort of you know um, sort of fuddling about these a lot of these pundits and, and uh, newscasters for you know they need answers and all of that and of course the president said a bunch of bullshit he blamed um, you know mental health and um, video games and and just just a bunch of fucking nonsense. Never once really mentioning um, the NRA or uh, uh, specific types of assault weapons and things like that that make um, killing people, a lot of people, um, very efficient. It makes it's a very efficient way to do so, and that's why a lot of people died in both these incidences. And um, the killer down there at the uh, at the shopping center, the Walmart, I believe, uh, was a uh, uh, Patrick Crucius. Um, uh, I don't really care if I pronounce that piece of shit's name right. He uh, he he's still alive, and um, he killed 22 people. And um, uh, Connor Betts killed nine people in Dayton, Ohio, including his own sister. So it's it's just, you know, awful. And I don't know any of these people and stuff like that, and I know there is this numbness we all, I think, have um, come to know because it just happens. You know, you are get up and you turn on the news, it happened, and then you go to work or go about your day, and it, it's just, you know, um, it's just fu another fucked up shooting. So, um, you know, what are you supposed to do? Um, you can, um, well, they did this recently in Williamsport. They had uh, one of these little vigil walks or whatever it was. It's called The First Step. The city gathers to march against recent violence. Yeah. Yeah. Bunch of. So, uh, that was a bunch of shit. And um, what's uh, this guy going to do about it? This is when President uh, Trump came. I don't even like calling him President Trump. He uh, came to he came to uh, Williamsport Regional Airport to uh, to his meet his uh, to uh, <clears throat> speak to his cult followers, give his little uh, his little Kool Aid sermon. So yeah, that's what you got there. You got a bunch of marching and people holding candlelight vigils and all of that stuff that does whatsoever no good. What should have been done a long time ago, it should have been done after Columbine, hasn't been done. So, um, and I don't, nothing's, why would anything be done now? That's, that's the thing. Why would, oh, finally something's going to get, people are getting fired up. It didn't happen after Parkland, didn't happen after Sandy Hook. I mean, a bunch of, Sandy Hook, a bunch of freaking kindergartners got shot by an AR-15, by, by some, you know, warped 18-year-old, or I think he was 18 or 20 at the time. Um, it, it's, it's, there's, there's no, it, nothing, it, nothing, because they always go back to that same argument, because it's a Second Amendment right to own guns and bippity boppity boopity and fuck you. You can't take away my AR-15. You can't take away um, bump stocks or any of that kind of stuff, whatever. I should be able to... Um, the people who uh, own these weapons feel that they, you know, they're necessary. That they're necessary. They should be on the market, 
even though people get them and people who haven't committed crimes already, you can go to any gun store and get one of these weapons and then go out and shoot up a school or a movie theater or, or, or a store or um, a sports arena or whatever. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Um, they don't need to be on the market. That's, that's really what should have been done a long time ago with these. Um, um, limit it to, you know, typical handguns and rifles for hunting. That's too, I, don't, I think that's reasonable. Um, they don't, um, they talk about the First Amendment. Yeah, when the First Amendment works for them, basically the gun lobby has hijacked the Second Amendment so they can use it to market, you know, high capacity um, guns, um, <clears throat> semi-automatic assault rifles. It's simple as that. Because your Fourth Amendment rights, they've already been violated with the DUI laws. If you're, you know, DUI checkpoints are unconstitutional, unlawful search and seizure. But they felt that drunk driving was enough of a public safety issue that they bent that rule a little bit and now you know you you have all you know you have all of these you know the high incidences of DUIs and people getting pulled over and stuff like that plus it's a big money maker isn't it ha no shit um you know just like selling guns is a big money maker that's why they all do these big gun shows. You know, they had a big gun show after Columbine happened. Um, so they don't give a shit. They don't care. They don't care about your public safety. They don't give a fuck. They don't even care about. I mean, look. look I mean, look at health care for fuck's sakes. They don't give a shit. We don't. We don't have a health care system that is in the interest of the patient. It's in the interest of corporations. It's in the interest of people who make drugs. It's in the interest of people who make the splints and the bandages or, you know, any anything, any, you know, hip replacements, anything. It's in the, it's always in the interest of the corporation, the interest of those in power. We don't have the power. So, if you wonder why this keeps happening and why it will keep happening, that's why. And um, it, it might change if people stop being fucking idiots and stop voting for, you know, uh, uh, real estate swindlers that host shitty game shows. Maybe maybe someday, you know, we'll get there. But, you know, if keep, things keep going the same way that they, they have been going, they're not. They don't. We don't. I mean, we don't. We don't. We're not. This isn't a democracy. You know, it's a. I mean, I want to use, I'm, I'm sort of using kind of a perverting the English language in it, but we have a corporatocracy or plutocracy, okay? People in this country who have money have rights. They can do whatever the fuck they want. You know, they live in gated communities far away from us. We're not protected. We're not protected legally. We can't afford good lawyers. We're not protected when we're in our schools. Or we're we're at we're just out and about going to a you know a bar or whatever like those people were in Dayton or going to the going to the freaking you know mall or the Walmart or wherever we're not safe you know they don't give a shit about us we're we're just you know they they just want people who will work for fucking shit wages with no benefits and accept it because. We have been taught to accept that. Everyone I work with is so beat down that they will continue to accept it. They accept shittier and shittier and shittier conditions and they accept and they accept working for a corporation that doesn't give a fuck about their interests whatsoever. Um, and I know that doesn't exactly have to do with the shootings, but that's just that's just a the, the shootings are a symptom of this of this just complete heartless fucking evil leadership that we have that is you know beholden 
to organizations like the NRA. And that's just the way it, and, and other, and you know, the healthcare industry, everything else. That they like to make things look good, but really behind all that facade, they're just doing a bunch of evil. And this is part of it. This, this, this shooting that happened doesn't, isn't going to change a thing. It won't. Nothing's going to change. They're just all they're 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 just watching people that they know that people are just going to go out and um, offer their thoughts and prayers, just like that phony evil president who probably raped a 13-year-old girl and is good friends with Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein did, and hopefully hopefully won't get reelected. So at least he'll go to fucking jail for this. Um. But that's the problem. You have people like Mitch McConnell who have been in there too long, and they have too much power, and they're not. They don't care. They don't care about those 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 school students, you know, um, from Parkland when they finally stood up and said enough is enough. They didn't care, and they never will, you know, until those until those old motherfuckers drop dead. Um, you know, it's it's not going to happen. I mean, you know, they're in their 70s, fortunately, so hopefully they won't be around and a new guard will come in and hopefully things will be better, but that's going to take a long time. But, yeah, this, this thing changes nothing. I'm not trying to put out this message of, of, of not having any kind of hope or being fucking cynical, but it's been going on for 20 years, and it's really pathetic. We live in a pathetic country. You know, because people are fucking stupid. They are. They will believe. It. They 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 want this whole like, you know, they, they think that their guns are the uh, last line between them and government tyranny. Yeah, like something you buy at Gander Mountain is gonna stand up against um, the United States Army, who has a fleet of fighter jets and nuclear submarines with warheads. Yeah, you're gonna stand up to that, you stupid asshole. These people, I mean. They, they are just, just astoundingly fucking stupid. I don't know how they managed to hold down a job and pay their taxes and even own a trailer to live in. I mean, and I'm not trying to disparage poor people by, you know, mentioning trailers. I mean, they probably even have a nice, I know some of these people, they have a nice house and a fucking goddamn, you know, $45,000 car and shit. And, and they, and they support Trump. They do. And it's ridiculous. He's such a... I knew he was a piece of shit when I was 12 years old. What's your fucking excuse? But anyway, that's all I have to say on this subject because I'm fucking sick of talking about it already. But basically, in, sum in, in summary, this changes nothing. Changes nothing. It's probably going to happen next week. It's probably going to happen, you know, the week after that.